Uh, me growing up, uh, of course, I'm in the 80s, you know, probably a little older than a few, but not older than most, but most people couldn't attest to this. Um, growing up, it was it was three things you never talked about at the dinner table, or you never talked about them really in public at all. But money, religion, politics. And that that's always been the forefront in most households in America since the beginning of time. And of course, you know, Alex, me and your wife is, you know, from other countries. And mainly that was the topic, that topic wasn't discussed at all. And then I started looking at it once, you know, I started talking to more people who had more international background. It's not a topic that's discussed in a lot of cultures, but it's not the culture aspect of it. It's the socioeconomic position that people are in. And today we're going to talk about why talking about money, religion, and politics at the dinner table, and that should be primarily your only discussion, mainly money we're going to talk about, but religion and politics, we can add a little bit of that in there also. But how that is should be one of the main concepts and constructs that should be talked about in the family. That's how the family origin is constructed. The family origin is perceived, and that's how the family dynamic is based off of those three things. But when you don't talk about them, then people are just out to, you know, try to figure out what they want to do. With all that being said, Alex, I'll let you go up first. So what was it like for you growing up in your household? I mean, you, most people think, you know, you Caucasian, you Caucasian white guy <laughs> that uh, had a silver spoon in your mouth. But for everybody that don't know, Alex is actually Puerto Rican. Um, so he more hood than I am. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so how was it? How was it growing up in your household? Just when it came to the concepts, mainly of money, but if you get into religion and politics, also, how what was that like? Um, so I think the most sensitive topics were politics and money. Uh, in my family, the majority you're either they're either Catholic or Christian, and some are like some don't believe, but they still follow the traditions or whatever. Um, right. But Money was an interesting one because there's people in my family that will, uh, that say have high earning jobs, right? And they'll, not all of them, uh, a couple of them will talk about money, but the majority of them will like, might want to boast about money. But then when you start asking them questions like, oh, that's my business. Why are you asking me? Like, well, you brought up the conversation, like, and so then they get sensitive with the topic and then they don't want to go into too much detail. They just want to say how much they make, but they don't want to say what they do with their money because that's their own business or with uh, politics as well. It's very divided. It's like a civil war, <laughs> but uh, money, money was an interesting one, definitely. Um, and especially uh, coming from, uh, you know, say like my grandmother who worked in factories and stuff like very, I don't know, lower class jobs, I would say. And, uh, it was like, you would, you would see like, I mean, we were never impoverished. Like we were never hungry or nothing, but like lower class and they just, they never wanted to discuss money. Um, but it was like, why not? Like, what if you can learn from the topic of discussing money or if you guys can, if we could all speak about it and learn off each other and grow from that. But it was just like, because that conversation gets shut down, it's like everyone is on their own as far as how they're going to make their own money and what they're going to do with it. It was like, why would you do that? Like, if you want to treat it as a family, then learn off each other and uh, not learn off each other, but set a goal with each other maybe and grow from that like um like you know ray uh with ray i try to help him manage his money he works i manage his money whatever and if i have jobs for him with the houses or whatever i'll you know i'll pay him and his guys and you know trying to actually incorporate him and grow with him we keep obviously it's not like hey let's put our money together but 
bouncing ideas off each other and stuff like that. And you, like you said, you have to have a good circle to of friends that are money motivated to grow from. Um, and so it was interesting, just like, you know, seeing financial struggle in my family, but they never, I, and I still hear to this day, like, especially with uh, having a YouTube channel, my mom will be like, you're not telling people how much money you got, are you? <laughs> and, I, and I told my mom this one time, I said, mom, I said, Elon Musk is the richest person in the world. And if you want to know his net worth, you can Google it. I said, so if he's safe, what's the big deal of me telling people? She was like, I don't know. Just be careful. Like, so, you know, like people, that old school mentality of like, don't tell people how much you make. Don't tell people how much you have. Or, But to me, it's more of like, if I can motivate someone based off of what I'm doing, then that's a win for them and a win for me. So, but. And, and going back to that, so what would you say is why do you think they, what, why do you think they didn't talk about money in that as in any aspects besides how much money they made just in your family why do you think that was for so in more so than just my family i think people that don't want to talk about money are broke they're sensitive to it because i've never met someone who actually makes real money from business, from investments, that doesn't want to talk about money. I mean, as far as you, I know I could ask you any question about money, you'll have an answer. Uh, there's several drivers at work that have expanded their business that love to talk about money, and they venture off into different investments, and we'll talk about money. Um, different managers, like there's one manager at work where he has his own trucking business, and he'll talk about money. You know, so it's like I've never met someone that actually has money and they don't want to discuss it because it's that's their motivation day to day is how to grow more and more. So for my family and I think for most people in that aspect, it's just because money to them is just used to pay bills and then don't think about it till the next paycheck. And, and you know, they to them, it's a sensitive topic. Yeah, I, I mean, my mine is I, and this is this is what I believe. When let's talk about money, religion, and politics, this is the reason why I believe, especially in the in the lower, I mean, in the middle class and the and the lower class of people don't want to talk about money. All right, so FYI, in my house, money, religion, politics, that majority of what we talk about that's i mean of course me and my wife we together in business so we talk about that on an everyday basis we talk about household finances we talk to our son who's only nine years old about finances every day because i want him to be educated and have the aptitude to understand what money is at a young age i'm not sending my kid out to go to school from zero to 18 years old and then the world tell him he an adult and he don't even learn how to balance a checkbook, learn how to know what mortgage payments is, know what interest rate is, know what a what a home loan is. I'm not letting that happen. I'm not here to let the world raise my kid. And then that is the thing. But the reason why I believe that they don't talk about it is because they know they have a limited aptitude and they don't want somebody to question them and they don't have that answer. So, you know, dad sits there and nobody questioned me, you know, and they don't have the aptitude to understand it because, you know, these kids, you know, especially now, you know, they see stuff on social media and all that. And then they want to ask questions. Well, you said this, but they saying this, but they don't have the aptitude to have those detailed conversations. They don't when it comes to when it comes to money, religion or politics. People are setting their ways and they've done it. They never question why they do certain certain things certain ways because throughout their lineage throughout the generations that's just how the families did it nobody stopped to question why so nobody don't want to be questioned on it because they don't have the attitude to even defend their position because they don't know why that's that's the reason why i believe that and because if you sit there let's just say 
me and you brothers, and we sit there, and our fathers sitting there, and he says something about, oh yeah, um, buying a house is an asset. If he says that, and then now you know me and you, we know the the true constructs of what an asset is and what is not. You know, asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. He wouldn't be able to defend the position. So the only the easiest way not to get questioned about it is to not talk about it. That's why I believe that it is. They don't have the attitude. They they don't know what they don't know, and they're not trying to learn more because that's how it's been. Because it's funny to me how, and I'm from Detroit, how my grandfather, he worked in a plant. You know, I had an uncle who worked in a worked in a plant, uh, drove drove trucks for a major uh Fortune 500 company. Um and then the lineages go down, factory workers and stuff in my family, but they all live their life the same way. They get paid, they go pay their bills, they have a little money to go mess off and, you know, go to the club, maybe, you know, every five years go on a vacation or something like that. And everybody just rinse and repeat. This is the same thing my grandfather and the people before him did, but nobody ever changed their ways because nobody ever questioned it. They just said, oh, this is what it is. I mean, when it comes to religion, that's the same thing. They don't, they just follow the religion because that's what the people before them did. They don't know why. And I'm not saying, you know, sit there and sit there and question your parents and stuff on religion or whatever, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat is floats your boat. But that's what it goes into. Nobody don't know why. They just do it because that's what's been going on through the lineage of the family. So my family, my family dynamic was a little different. Like my father Again, uh, no aptitude on it. No, don't talk about money. My mom, on the other hand, she always talked to us kids about money. I mean, the the little knowledge that she knew, she always shared it, always. And um, and that's how I started getting, uh, started even getting the ideal of understanding finances better was because at a young age, growing up, she told me like. By the time I was 14 years old, I knew how to write a check, how to cash a check, how all that stuff worked already at a younger age. So I knew that stuff. And then that what stimulated my mind to keep pushing forward to learn more, learn more, learn more. But most people just, oh, this is what my father did, this is what I do. And then you could just look at the, you could just look at the the trail that follows behind it. It's you know, my father was, uh, this is what I'm doing, don't question me, this is how it works. So now I, my younger brother, he has that same mindset. This is what I'm doing. No question. This is how it works. But the truth of it, it doesn't work like that at all, at all, because he just followed what his forefathers did before him. Me, I continue to stimulate my mind on how finances work. And then again, the end results are different. But that's what I think it is. It's not a. It's their lack of understanding. They fear to be questioned. And they don't want to be called out on being wrong because they are the, you know, they are the matriarch of the house. They are the person who should know it all, but they don't. So they just don't talk about it. And I mean, you can go on to to religion and things like that. It's the same thing. The reason why you're Catholic, right? No, I, what, what is, me personally, I just. I mean, what 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 is your family's your family's religion? Yeah, most of my family is Catholic. Yeah. All right, so they're, they're Catholic. The reason why they're Catholic is because their mom was Catholic. The reason why they mom was Catholic because the people before them. And I'm not saying Catholic is wrong or right. I'm not saying that. But the reason why they're Catholic is because the people before them is. They don't know. They don't have a, a clue why. They just oh, I'm Catholic. I'm Catholic. Always know why you in whatever situation you're in, no matter you know, no matter what. I mean. I'm not saying the situation you're in is wrong or right, but you should know why. It shouldn't just be, oh, I'm just doing it because this is how it's been done before. My family's been broke before, so, what I, so I'm just going to say, oh, I should just be broke because my family's broke. That's not how it works. And and that and that is the thing that I think a lot of middle class and poor do. And again, is think of the work environment. Think of the work environment. No, None of the employees talk to each other about how much money they make. And then if they did, they'll realize, hey, Alex, me and you are in the same position. You're a manager, I'm a manager. You got the day shift, I got the night shift. 
I'm making forty thousand dollars. You make eighty thousand dollars. But the reason why nobody knows because nobody talks. There's nothing illegal about you talking to your coworkers at work about money. Now, work environments because they're smart, they'll be like, "We highly discourage you from talking about your pay." The reason why is because they want to pay people different to save money. The less they can pay you, that's what they're going to do. But people so ingrained to not talk about money, they don't talk about it. And then so one person gets screwed over when the other person is not. I mean, the other person probably gets screwed over too because probably somebody else to make more money than them. But it's because nobody talks. Everybody's scared to talk about that dynamic of money. So the worst thing that can happen is, Alex, you tell me you're making $30,000 more than me. And then I go to the... Um, to the power to be HR or whatever and say, hey, well, I believe that, you know, me and Alex are working on the same scale that I should be making. Oh, they're going to be like, how do you know? There's nothing legal with you telling me how much money you make. But that's how the work environment has confused people to make them believe that, oh, no, it's illegal to talk about it, which is not. It's 100% legal. Y'all can check the laws. And that's how you can start getting equal pay. Uh, per position, per person growing across the board. But nobody want to talk about it because everybody's scared of, oh, if I know how much he's getting paid, they're going to fire me. If you're executing your job and you're doing your job right, then that's what it is.